One of the more popular themes in most recent sci-fi movies has been the existence of parallel universes, and while the idea was initially thought to be nothing more than a creative movie plot, new scientific theories have since come forward that support the idea of parallel universes beyond our own. However, the theory that there is a multiverse remains as one of the most controversial ones in all of science. Some exciting news came forward last year, which generated significant buzz with the statement that NASA had confirmed the existence of a parallel universe by discovering particles associated with a universe in which time runs backwards. However, upon digging deeper, it was discovered that these reports were incorrect. While the initial reports try to sensationalize a false claim, they completely missed the real headline, which was far more intriguing as it looks at the eternal inflation and quantum mechanics which could prove the existence of a multiverse. Today, we'll be looking deeper into the mystery of parallel universes and what our scientific knowledge so far has been able to uncover about this exciting possibility. The Strange Tale will take us on a journey to the beginning of our universe and space-time to better understand why many believe this theory to be true. Everything we know existed in a state of infinitesimal singularity around 13.7 billion years ago. Then suddenly, it all burst into action according to the Big Bang Theory. It started inflating in all directions faster than the speed of light, a process that lasted for only a tiny fraction of a second. In an instant, the universe had exploded outward to many times its original size in a process known today as cosmic inflation. This process took place before the expansion of matter we usually associate with the Big Bang. As this inflation slowed, a massive flood of matter and radiation appeared, which created a fireball that began to form atoms, molecules, stars, and galaxies that populate the space as we know it today. This strange process of inflation and the Big Bang are the main reasons why some researchers are convinced that multiple universes are possible and even very likely. One theory suggests that this process of inflation didn't end everywhere at the same time. It states that while it ended for everything that we can detect from Earth 13.8 billion years ago, cosmic inflation continues to occur in other places. This is called the theory of eternal inflation, and states that as cosmic inflation ends in a particular place, a new bubble universe forms as a result. These bubble universes can't contact each other because they continue to expand indefinitely. Even if we could reach the next bubble, according to the theory, our universe, with its physical constants and habitable conditions, could be different from the hypothetical universe next to our own. However, there is a chance that in some of these infinite bubble universes, there could be other intelligent observers if the constants for life to evolve are present. Another popular theory that many researchers base their ideas of parallel universes on is quantum mechanics, also known as the mathematical descriptions of subatomic particles. According to quantum mechanics, multiple states of existence for tiny particles are all possible at the same time, and all of these possibilities are encapsulated by something called a wave function. However, upon inspection, we are only ever able to observe one of these possibilities. The Copenhagen Interpretation of Quantum Mechanics described by the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy states that we observe an outcome when a wave function collapses into a single reality. The Many Worlds Theory, on the other hand, proposes that every time one state or outcome is observed, there is another world in which a different outcome becomes a reality. This is also called a branching agreement in which our perceived universe branches into an almost infinite number of alternatives. These alternate universes do not possess the ability to intersect and are completely separate from each other. This means that while there may be uncountable versions of us living a life that is anywhere from slightly to completely different from our own, we would never be able to detect it. This many worlds theory is considered the boldest take on the quandary of quantum mechanics, but it also happens to be the most straightforward one, although it still has certain aspects that need further explanation. One of these aspects is that the many worlds idea is not falsifiable. This is an important factor as it is through this component that the scientific community can develop ideas that can be explored with experimentation and observation. When there is no possible way to find evidence against a theory, 
It ends up being bad for science as a whole, as the ability to disprove or analyze the idea is lost. The third most popular theory some physicists believe in is a flatter version of multiple universes. It states that if the universe that we live in exists for eternity, there are limited ways in which the building blocks of matter can arrange themselves as they assemble across infinite space. This means that eventually, any finite number of particle types must repeat a particular arrangement. Hypothetically, if the space is big enough, these particles must repeat arrangements that are as large as entire galaxies and solar systems. As a result, the theory suggests a possibility that our entire life might be repeated elsewhere in the universe, down to the very tiniest of detail, like what we had for breakfast yesterday. However, if the universe began at a finite point, something that every physicist agrees on, an alternate version of ourselves is unlikely to exist. This raises the question of what NASA found that led to those sensational headlines last year. It turns out that a facility in Antarctica called ANITA detected some signals which were described as anomalous. They were assumed to be evidence of a high-energy particle called neutrinos coming from the Earth's surface. The strange thing was that these particles didn't seem to have a source of origin. While the mystery has yet to be solved, it is believed that one of the hypothetical causes of the signal can be the existence of a parallel universe that was created with the same Big Bang as our own. This does not mean that the existence of a parallel universe is confirmed, but merely that the signal needs to be studied further to make definitive conclusions. While we are still some way from confirming if a multiverse exists or not, some compelling arguments support its existence. One of these arguments is cosmic inflation. As we understand it, our universe grew exponentially in the first few moments of its existence, but we must question if this expansion was uniform. If indeed it was not, this would suggest that different regions of space grew at different rates and may be isolated from one another. Another point to consider is the mathematical constants that we come across often during our studies of the universe. It is important to ask how the laws of the universe ended up being so exact. Some scientists propose that this happened by chance, and we are the universe out of many others which just happened to get the numbers right. We must also consider the observable universe and the fact that we do not know for sure what exists beyond the edge of space that we can observe currently. Until we can look deeper into the cosmos, the thought that our universe extends indefinitely is an interesting one. Certain arguments are against the existence of the multiverse theory. The first thing that comes to mind is its falsifiability as there is no way for us to ever test these ideas. As things stand, we will never be able to see beyond the observable universe, so there is no way to disprove these theories. Occam's razor should also be considered, as sometimes the simplest ideas in life are often the best ones. Many physicists believe that there is no need for the multiverse theory at all, as it doesn't solve any paradoxes, but instead creates new complications. But by far the biggest argument against the multiverse theory is the lack of evidence. While we are unable to disprove of any multiverse theories, we are unable to prove them either. Currently, no evidence exists that supports the possibility of a multiverse, and everything we can see so far only suggests there is only one universe, the one we call home. The theory for a multiverse and parallel universe is compelling, but as of yet, still resides in the works of myth and fiction. Unless we can come across some concrete evidence that the theory is correct, there is nothing we can do but speculate if there truly are alternative versions of us in different dimensions. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for staying tuned. Please remember to leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content that explores the mysteries of space. Do you think a parallel universe exists? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below.